In this video, we talk about this, the KFA Explorer powered by the Zonsen CA500. Could this be the best bush plane for under $100,000? What we've really got to talk about here is expectations versus reality. Uh, with any new engines, your expectations are not very high. Especially an engine like the Zonsen, it's uh, very much a Rotax base in terms of how it has been designed, how it's built. And uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how it flies. So far, so good. It feels very smooth on uh, on the prop right now. We're using an E-prop, uh, which is the three-braided E-prop, 80-inch. And this is a essentially a 912, so they call it the Zandersen CA500. It is a 100 horsepower block, however it has been upgraded at KFA with a KFA Turbo. KFA Turbo takes it to 135 horsepower, which is really, really cool. And this aeroplane is so light. So this is basically the Safari's little brother. This is uh, what we call the Explorer. This is a LSA plane. The Safari is not an LSA plane. So this is rated for 600 kilograms max take of weight. And, um, this is actually a production-built aircraft. Super, super cool. This one has been set up with a Garmin. Um, got the MDL radio still. Everything else is, is pretty similar to my airplane in terms of the avionics. Um, but it certainly feels a little bit smaller and a little bit more sporty. So let's get it up and going and uh, let's see how short we can take off here in this little field in the middle of the crop. That's about the similar performance that the uh, 916 Safari has. We got 1,400 foot a minute climbing at 45 knots. Oh wow. I'm not really feeling any vibration at all. Obviously the E-Prof has got a lot to do with that. But so far so good on this Onsen engine. That power is incredible. And I think it's the power to weight ratio which is kind of doing it for me. This plane is definitely far exceeding my expectations. How sporty is this as well? It's like, the roll rate is insane. Let's talk about a little bit about this uh, airplane. So this is the KFA Explorer. The Explorer, as I said earlier, is a 600 kilogram maximum takeoff weight airplane. And um, essentially this fits into the LSA category. LSA category can be flown with a NPL license here in South Africa and an LSA license in uh, the US. This particular Explorer is production built, production built by the factory, which means that this airplane can actually be used in flight training schools. It's got the Zonsen CA500. The CA500 is a 100 horsepower block, very similar to a Rotax 912 engine. However, this one has got a KFA turbo modification on it, which takes it to 135 horsepower, which gives this 360 kilogram airplane an incredible amount of power. So the power to rate weight ratio is insane. The price of this engine is significantly less than a Rotax engine. So this is obviously a reason for people to get into flying at a more affordable level. I think uh, the warranties on these are about 300 hours and three years, if I'm not mistaken. So it is a tried and tested engine. These uh, engines have been used all over the world for many different applications. And from what I can feel, so far so good. Really, really cool airplane. So what we're going to do is just bring it in for a couple of takeoffs and landings here. And just see how the airplane itself performs on landing. With it being so light, the, uh, the nicest thing is that we'll be able to get the stop nice and quickly. Always uh, flying a new airplane for the first time. The landing is the most difficult thing. Obviously, takeoff is all power and power to weight ratio. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to blast off out of the air, get up and nice, going nice and quickly. And we're off the ground in like 40 meters, more or less. 
and climbing. 3,000 feet a minute, that's 1,300, 1,400 feet a minute. Nearly 1,500 feet a minute at 50 knots. So as you can see, really, really cool way to uh, get into this bush flying, sort of a more affordable type way. So the nice thing about the Explorer, as I was saying earlier, you can get this as a production build aircraft. The Safari is not yet certified for production build, it's still an amateur build aircraft. But this is production build, you can put it into flight schools. And um, yeah, I think KFA, once again, on all these new aircraft that they're pumping out of the factory are doing really, really well. So, well done to these guys, and I'm impressed. In fact, I don't have any other words, but I'm impressed by this Zonsen CA500 engine. Super, super smooth. What you do lose in terms of the size of this aircraft is, of course, baggage space. Um, the space in the back there is nowhere near as big as the Safari. But if you are wanting to stay within the LSA world and get into the bush flying, this is honestly the perfect way to do it. The KFA Explorer is an absolute performer. The types of aircraft that you can now buy from uh, KFA are the Safari, which is the larger model, and then the Explorer, which is the model like this. There is a selection of so many different engines that you can go through. I mean, it must be fif between 15 and 20 engines that you can choose from. Um, those ranging from Rotax engines, all the different variants, to the Zontan engines that is currently in this airplane, to radial engines, which is a story for another day. and. Um, I believe you can even put Jabiru engines in here, like homing, all that type of stuff can be used and um, the factory can adapt cowlings, can adapt fitments to suit whatever engine you may require for your airplane. Okay, as that sun sets away there, this camera footage is probably deteriorating pretty quickly. So we are Gonna blast off here, get back to Petite, the cyclical plane. Really, really is a cool plane.